Hey, how's everyone uh, doing uh, today? I'm uh, still getting over a cold, which I got recently. It's not fun, but I uh, decided to make a little video here to pass the time. And, uh, today we have a uh, guitar hero type guitar that doesn't work and we have a Super Nintendo that's extremely damaged some Super Nintendo controllers and some Nintendo games that really don't work I know some uh, mentioned clean the contacts and everything but even with cleaning the contacts and everything the games just <clears throat> they just don't function so uh, decide just to scrap them. So I went ahead and opened up the uh, Super NES. Problem with uh, this guy I did it in advance because it has these special screws that you need a special bit for. And since I don't deal with this type of item too often, I didn't think it was worth getting a little screwdriver for this. I figured out a way to open it up. It took a little time, but I did. So, pretty much what's in a Super Nintendo. Pretty simple. Nothing too special. There's a green board in here. Let's open it up a little bit. Pretty much a green board and some cabling. That's it. Nothing else, uh, really. So, this is the power button. So, we have some wire here. Nothing too special. This actually might be worth something on eBay. The jack button, I'm definitely going to check it out. I doubt it, but uh, you never know. Sometimes these things are valuable for people who repair this type of stuff. Let's see if there's anything special on the actual board. See if there's any hidden gold somewhere. Okay. Here's another little green board with a little bit of a ribbon it's for the controllers. I'll check online to see if this might be sellable, but I'm not sure if I want to sell it just because I wasn't able to test this thing. <clears throat> Uh, even with a working power supply, I didn't want to take any power, so I don't like selling stuff without knowing if it actually works. Some people do, I'm not one of them. So, we have this little guy here. Nothing too special, just a hunk of metal. The pins are not gold so nothing too special here I'm guessing this is some kind of uh, sound card or something let's open that up to see what's in there another green board in here probably just mid-grade nothing too special I don't think we're gonna find too much gold in uh, this Super Nintendo so uh, nothing too special just some IC chips so it's probably gold in the IC chips for people who uh, for people who uh, remove these and 
burn them up to remove the uh, gold. This is for you guys. Nothing else really there. We almost, we almost got the main board out. And there you go. So now, let's see what this board looks like. Let's see. Let's see. We've got a nice little piece of aluminum here. And that's it, just some more IC chips. Uh, the only gold I see is in the connector here. Probably some gold in here, in the output. But as for gold, I think that's all I'm gonna find here. Some monolithic capacitors. Like I've said in my other videos, these are always good to keep. You can probably get about eight bucks uh, an ounce uh, on eBay for those. And uh, other than that, you got some plastic, just garbage, <laughs> nothing too special. Uh, have a Super Mario World game here doesn't work. Tried it out. These are also busted. Uh, what we have here is some, again, some IC chips. Perfect for uh, the people who uh, incinerate them to get the gold out. Also, gold pins. So you can also sell this as uh, a gold uh, pin card. Let's see how the old Nintendo games look like. These also have a special screw to open them up, so I'm just gonna bust them open. There we go. Got it open it open and nothing too special here to see. Pretty much gonna be like the uh, Super Mario World uh, a little board. Nothing too special. There you go. So again some IC chips gold-fingered cards. Again, perfect for the people who uh, do uh, the gold uh, refining and everything. Again, exactly the same board. I'm sure these are actually, if they were somewhat working, it'd probably be uh, not be worth that much. I actually checked up the prices of the games themselves. They weren't anything special, so I'm not too uh, too sad about breaking uh, things open. This one looks a little different, but uh, again, same concept. You got the gold fingers, the IC chips. Now we have controllers. Controllers, these are... I've tested these, they either don't work at all. Missing buttons. Nothing too, too special or discolored. 
these are pretty much easy to open up. Start opening these guys up and see what's inside. I'm guessing it's gonna be a simple uh simple board, nothing too special. Some nice wire though. Might be able uh, if the casings or the shells are good. I might be able to sell that on eBay. I'm gonna check it out if, it, if that's sellable. Because physically, the externally, I mean, they don't look that bad. So I'd be able to sell something. So this is what one of those controllers look like. A little bit of wired brown board, so low grade. doesn't look to have any uh, gold pins anywhere there so yeah nothing too too special so we know it's in all of these so let's try and find out what's in uh, one of these guys here this is a wired one uh, this one is actually a generic third-party guitar that doesn't work, so I'm I'm not too sad about uh, taking this one apart. Uh, if it was an actual guitar, hero guitar, I would have uh, probably sold it as broken. Probably got in a few dollars. It's also missing the adapter, so the USB adapter so kind of makes it even more useless. So let's open this guy up and see what's in there. I'm sure it's going to be similar to what the uh, Super Nintendo uh, controllers will look like inside. So, what we have here is best case mid-grade board, some IC chips, monolithic uh, capacitors, some wires, some more wire here, this a little gold in here which is kind of like a similar to a, a phone jack or I guess ethernet port. pretty much it pretty pretty basic so nothing too too uh, special over there so that's my little uh, mini video game uh, scrap lot at the end of the video I'll probably do a little uh, a little price list see what there is but uh, from all this wasn't anything too special. It's unfortunate most of this stuff was in bad shape because like the Super Nintendo being at least non-working and good physical condition would have gotten uh, maybe 20, 25 bucks. But everything was pretty bad. The controllers with missing buttons and the Super NES being all trashed and 
ugly and stained, the games being, you know, not working, broken, dirty. Same thing with the guitar. Like I said, the guitar, if it was an actual Guitar Hero guitar, probably would have been worth 20 to 25 non-working. But uh, that's uh, how things work out sometimes, so... If uh, you guys have any questions, let me know. Uh, talk to you guys soon. Like, subscribe. Share any information uh, you guys might think is pertinent to uh, video game stuff. And uh, enjoy. Talk to you guys soon.